Hello, I'm Carlos Huerta and this is a tutorial for US Max Fusion members on how to add articles on best practices to the US Max Fusion website portal. One of the benefits of the US Max Fusion membership is um, for uh, member institutions, companies, organizations, agencies, for their personnel to add articles written by themselves to the US Max Fusion website. There are already some categories uh, like for example global competencies, uh, foreign languages, international development, strategic partnerships, technology that supports internationalization, communication strategies, comprehensive internationalization, co curriculum, curriculum, risk management, etc. And if the article on a best practice that you would like to share is um, or doesn't fit into any of these categories please let us know and we can add more categories and so the purpose of adding articles is so that your personnel's expertise in the field creates um, contributions to the higher education community worldwide and also so that your institution, company, organization showcases the depth and breadth of their commitment to integrating an international and intercultural dimension in the everyday activities. Now, these articles are meant to be, um, uh, like I said, best practices that are uh, short and easy to read, probably no more than two page articles and uh, with this video I'm going to show you how to add articles so first of all you are going to log in with your login credentials once you are logged in you are going to go to this drop down menu and you're going to go to my articles now it's going to tell you that if this is the first time you are trying to add add an article that you have not added articles yet so you're going to click on this button that says add article and then first, very first thing you want to do is choose the category where your article uh, fits uh, let's say i'm going to talk about global competences in this article so for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use uh, dummy content. So let's say my article is going to be an example article. And so that is the title of my article. I'm going to go, to go ahead and paste it here. Article summary. I'm going to copy and paste here. And then this is where the article goes, the full body of the article. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy my two page article and paste. Okay, I can also add um, pictures in uh, the body of the article. Let's say I want to add a picture. You know I have to have the pictures on my computer so let's say I want to add this picture and I'm gonna send it to the server and I probably want to have pictures that are no bigger than 300 pixels wide and I'm gonna say okay so that looks pretty good there now I can also add a video if there is a video on YouTube that I already have I can also add it here I can also add an image that is going to be like the thumbnail for my article in this case I'm going to use a dummy image okay so that's going to be the thumbnail for my article and then I can add pictures that are related to the article uh, if you have any more pictures, in this case, I'm going to add this one. Um, I'm going to call it uh, graph one. And I probably want to add one more. I'm just going to repeat um, the same. This is going to be 
graph two and I'm gonna add this one again this one and this is gonna be graph three or picture three whatever you want to call them and then this link is if you have this article already somewhere on the web you are going to go ahead and add the URL and the description but this is an optional um, art, uh, an optional feature now the most important part well besides the article and the article content is making sure that you add the information about the author okay so I'm gonna add I'm gonna say this article was written by Benjamin Franklin position is a US Max Fusion consultant email let's say it's gonna be Franklin at example.com okay once I added this information I can either save it as a draft or if I hit save either there or here it's actually going to already publish it so give it a couple of seconds because it's quite a bit of information to upload but um, okay so it's already uploaded and it tells you that your article has been posted and it says you can see the article here um, this is the summary art of the article and uh, these are pictures that you uploaded and, um, and this is the thumbnail the picture thumbnail to identify your article and this is the article title so when you go to um, articles on best practices and you can see that global competencies already have already has one article and this is the article you just added so it it is it is it, it says here what uh, institution added it so you can go ahead and go in it and see the article but also importantly is that the information of um, who wrote the article is also included here people can share your article on social media and also if they want people can print uh, the article okay so let me show you okay so they will be able to print your article with information about the author okay in terms of authorship uh, rights all the articles that are shared are going to be shared under a Creative Commons license of this type by NC which means uh, non-commercial and SH which means share alike and basically what this means is that by means that um, people that use your article must give appropriate credit to the author non-commercial means that the article can be used only for non-commercial purposes and share alike means that if the article is uh, used and um, it is remixed or transformed or built upon uh, people have to distribute those contributions under the same type of license Okay, I hope this tutorial has helped you understand how to add articles on best practices. Uh, please let us know if you have any other questions. You can always send us an email at uh, info at usmaxfusion.org. Thank you very much.